And now the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is leading a research to seek solutions to the recurrent farmer herder conflicts in some parts of the country. The research dubbed Access and Authority Nexus in Farmer Herder Conflicts will be undertaken in the next three years in Asantiachim North and Afran Plains districts. Here's Beatrice Pio Gabriel's report. Farmers and herders over the years have resorted to the use of violence as a means of safeguarding their respective livelihoods. Farmers often clash with the herders over access to land for crop farming and cattle grazing, leading to loss of lives and property. The Access and Authority Nexus Farmer Herder Conflict Project is a collaboration between KNUSD, the University for Development Studies, the University of Energy and Natural Resources, and the University of of Copenhagen, Dean of the Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources at KNUSD, explained to TV3 the project's overview and the expected objectives. What we aim to do is to investigate the extent to which um, the farmer header conflict is impacting on um, the institution, provide insight uh, about how the conflict as it unfolds how it impacts on the authority of those institutions that try to manage it. Ghana recorded 104 deaths in 2017, a rise from 73 in 2015. Deputy Head of Mission at the Danish Embassy, Birgit Madsen, disclosed farmer head that conflict is not only limited to Ghana and Africa, but the worrying aspect is the violent nature it has taken in the country. According to Amnesty International, 3,600 deaths resulting from farmer herder conflicts were reported in Nigeria in 2016 alone. A deputy minister of food and agriculture, Dr. Zagui Bambangi, told TV3 the government has taken a number of interventions to help address what he described as a security and socio-economic challenge. This project will complement because it will provide the necessary information, the necessary data, the necessary recommendations that will guide the policymakers the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, the government as a whole.